Ukraine is a significant player in global food security, but the possibility of a Russian military invasion and naval deployment in the Black Sea threatens to in the Black Sea threatens to disrupt Ukrainian grain exports, potentially affecting global supplies. Oksana Bedratem filed this report, narrated by Anna Rice of VOA News. Ukraine produces over 6% of the world's grain supply, according to the Observatory of Economic Complexity. That's why there could be a ripple effect felt worldwide if war breaks out between Russia and Ukraine, says food analyst Alex Smith. The countries that are the most dependent on Ukrainian wheat uh, were Lebanon, which was about 50% of their total wheat consumption in 2020 came from Ukraine. Uh, Libya was, was a significant number, and so was Yemen. But all three of them have had significant conflicts recently, are already dealing with high food prices and already dealing with significant food insecurities. If grain supply disruptions were to occur now, it would shock world markets, say experts. For Ukraine, they have a lot of sales on the books to countries like China and, and other major importers. If that were to be disrupted, it causes a, a significant dislocation in, in the flow. And with an ongoing drought in South America, the world depends even more on other sources, like Ukrainian wheat. As it happens, the other major producers are South America, Brazil and Argentina. They are going through a drought situation. So these next couple months in front of us, is, is already in a tight corn and wheat supply situation. And if you cut off imports or disrupt those that flow of grain from a major region, that would have huge impacts. It, it, it would send prices sharply higher. Food analyst Smith believes the disruption in the supply of Ukrainian grain might benefit Russia, since countries like China might turn to Russia to get grain. Russian President Vladimir Putin and China's President Xi Jinping recently signed an agreement in which China agreed to allow imports of wheat and barley from all regions of Russia. I think there's 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 potential for that Russia is is a significant wheat producer as well. I mean, just agriculturally is a is a large you know exporter in general. Uh, I think that some there there definitely is. They definitely have capacity to to take to fill in some of this, uh, some of the scarcity that could come from a Russia-Ukraine conflict. Analysts hope a disruption in grain supplies can be avoided. Otherwise, a food crisis could be a real possibility, not only in the region but far beyond. For Oksana Bedratenko in Washington, Anna Rice, VOA News. Tentative agreements for a last-ditch diplomatic effort to stave off Russia's invasion of Ukraine help the German stock market get a friendly start on Monday. U.S. markets will be closed for a holiday, but futures were higher. Shares rose in early European trading, but fell in most Asian markets. Shortly after the start of trading, the German benchmark index was 0.93 percent. Last week, concerns about Russia's invasion of Ukraine had pushed the DAX down by 2.5 percent.